Catherine, and I'm going to give you an overview of how the payment function PandaForm works. Let's say I already created this form, a ticket purchasing form. The basic price for the Panda Show is $50, and you can choose extra package such as the priority seat for $20 or the hot dog for $10. To set up the payment function, I have to go to the Settings tab. Click Enable, and then you'll see your screen. For the PayPal recipient account, you have to put in whatever PayPal account you have created. The tricky part is the assigned prices. You have to specify how PandaForm should calculate the price for the form submitted to be paid. In this case, the fixed amount is $50. And the variable assigned to priority seat is 20 and to hot dog 10. You save it and go to publish. You can send this URL to anyone who wants to make a purchase. In this example, let's choose Priority Seat. Once they have submitted the form, they will be redirected to PayPal to make the payment. In PayPal, the company name and personal email will be at the top, and the visible payable amount will be at the right. Any user can pay with their PayPal account or they can choose to pay with Visa, MasterCard, or any other credit card. On the other hand, when you receive the application, you can see this payment box. Whether to see if the payment has been made, or is pending, or already paid. This is how the payment option PandaForm works.